Got one. Got one. Got him. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good bass right there. Today we got an on-you product from Mule Fishing. Before I tell you what it is, we're gonna catch some fish with it. Got one. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, got something good. Woo! He inhaled that thing. Heck yeah, here we go. First one with the Bronco blade. That thing smoked it. Good bluegill, beautiful colors, nice and cold. We're gonna put them back in the water. Whoa. <laughs> Today we got an all new product to share with you guys. I am fishing with the brand new Mule Fishing Bronco Blades. This little jig spinner is super nice, very high quality. Now many of you guys know that I have actually been fishing with jig spinners for quite some time. I didn't really know much about them when I first started using them, but it's essentially an ultralight um, spinner bait. And the cool thing about these is, is it creates a lot of action, a lot of flash, and it's a good search bait. Normally when I fish an ultralight jig, I fish it not too slow, but not too fast. What fishing a jig spinner lets me do is to fish it a little bit faster and cover water a lot faster. I am fishing this on two pound test. You can go up to six, Usually when I'm fishing jig spinners, I'm running four, but I really wanted to test it out on two pound test, see how it feels on this setup. Got one. Yep. Got one. Yeah, buddy. Nice bluegill. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful bluegill right here. That was instant. Awesome. Awesome little bluegill on the Bronco blade. Solid, solid hit. All right, we're gonna push him back. Let's talk a little bit about the Bronco blade itself. It is a nice little jig spinner. There's a few things that makes this different than most jig spinners that you can buy at like Walmart or from other people. Besides, you know, the nice branding of mule fishing. One of the things I like the most is right here on this ring, it's actually welded shut. So what that means is you don't have to worry about your line getting snagged up in this back ring, which has happened to me before with other jig spinners. The other part is the end of the wire where the jig spinner sits it's got a bend into it it's crimped on this side so that if your jig when you do cast it comes back it won't go past it without some like very very good force so i like that it keeps the jig towards the tail end of the jig spinner you don't have to worry about your jig coming off or out of where it needs to be but the most important part in my opinion is the wire itself so the wire is super super well made um, Ethan put a lot of thought into the wire itself. I remember speaking with him when we were discussing a jig spinner and I told him one of my biggest gripes is how thick the wire is and he agreed is the wire on most jig spinners are super thick and I have to I struggle to get it through the smaller jigs. Well since he made this he made it for his jigs he made it so that every single jig can slide on easily, including the 1 80th ounce jig. So if you're worried about if these jigs are gonna be able to slide on easily, you don't have to worry about that because they're made for his jigs. And that's probably my favorite part is I don't have to struggle with any other brands, uh, jig spinners on if they're gonna be able to sit right or not. And then of course, the other thing is, unlike most jig spinners, I can throw a 1 80th ounce jig on all the other jig spinners that I own. If I do not throw a 1 seconds ounce jig, it will not spin right. It will not sit right in the water column. It's just not a good experience. With these jig spinners, they come out swimming wonderfully. Now you can, if you burn it too fast, make it turn sideways, but you can go as low as 1 80th ounce jig with these. 
And the other cool thing is the blades come in four total colors. This chrome one that you see here, there's a gold, there's a fire red, and there's a chartreuse. So you'll have some clear water options and also some dirty water options. Now, that's enough chit-chatting. Let's see if we can catch a couple more fish. Got another one. Ooh, largey. Largey, heck yes. Calm down, buddy. That's a solid little largey. Love that. He wanted that thing. Check that out, just right in there. All right, we're gonna put him back. Boop. The best thing about this lure, honestly, it's, it's a complete upgrade to what you can already get out there at your Wally Worlds, at your Bass Pro. Um, and it's a super easy lure to use. I've been using jig spinners for quite some time. I've set up my kids with jig spinners and they have a lot of fun because you just cast it out and you reel it in. And if the conditions are right and the fish are hungry, they will come after it. Or if they're being aggressive, they will come after it. And there's different ways to fish it. You can fish it slow, like I'm doing it right now, giving it a nice slow roll. You can push it, fish it a little faster. Sometimes that'll do it. You can run it, pause it, let it sink, run it, pause it, let it sink. Sometimes that'll do it. I can actually see a fish. Ooh, there was one following it right now. He followed it up. He liked that little twitch and pause. <laughs> yeah, I think he only grabbed the tail though. That was awesome. So yeah, there's different things you can do. I'm gonna try that little run and pause again. This water is a little bit stained. So the Chartreuse Donkey Toe Jr. is super helpful. In this water, you could also get away with the fire red, a gold blade. Oh, another hit. Another hit right in there. There's something right here. I'm just gonna keep bothering him. Whatever it is, I think it might be a largey because he's not taking it like a like a bath. I'm gonna slow roll it over it. Let's see what happens. This wind is blowing my line all over the place. That's all right. Just run and gun it, see what happens. Got one, got him. There we go. There we go. That's what was fighting me, another dinky bass. Check him out, slightly bigger than the last guy. That's what was nipping at it. Every time I would come by, he'd swipe at it. It looked like he wanted it fast, not slow. He came after it. That's usually how they're gonna hit gonna be a quick little grab nice dinky little bass Becky goes Got one. Oh, he's got me in some heavy stuff. This is not ideal. Ah, there we go. Yeah, buddy. This is probably the biggest one we've had today. I'm telling you guys, this thing is awesome. Look how big he is. He is chunky. Considering how it's been cold up until a few days ago, like average nighttime freezing temps, now it's warm. This guy has been putting on some weight. All right, we're gonna change things up a little bit. We'll put the gold number on and a meal minnow. See how that does. Oh, that gold blade looks amazing. Looks way better in the water than silver did. Like I said earlier, this kind of water, a gold blade would work great. The water is clear with the sun constantly out. The silver blade would be the best. 
but with this slightly overcast clouds going in and out and this murky water this tannic water the gold blade is just so vibrant There we go. Nice. Wow. Look at the bands on this bluegill. Whoa, whoa. Come on, buddy. Calm down. Relax, buddy. The, the bands on this bluegill are very, very nice. I like them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, we're going to put him back. Another one. It's a largey. Oh yeah, Billy. Come here. <laughs> a largey this time. Nice little largey with the gold blade. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Gonna we'll put him back. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good bass right there for ultralight. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right. We just went up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ready? One, two, three. Oh gosh. I'm so glad I tightened my drag. Look at the size of this boy. Oh my goodness. That is a freaking tank of a bass for ultralight. Look at this guy. Dude. Solid, solid fish. My goodness, what a good one. Heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> we sized up, baby. We sized way up. This is like a nice little like quarter, maybe half pounder right here, man. Nice. Thought all we were going to get into dinks, but here's a good one. Lips all red. They must be feeding on the bottom or something, but they're definitely feeding aggressively. This warm weather has them all kinds of crazy. All right, we're going to put them back. All right, and on that big guy, we're gonna call it a day. This thing is awesome. They're only about three to four bucks per pack. There's three to a pack. It's super great value. Definitely go pick one up. Link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.